It's Thursday, September 29th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KATC News Brief. We have new information on a school bus crash in St. Landry Parish. The crash involved a bus and a truck. We know four students were taken to the hospital with non-critical injuries and the crash happened near the intersection of Highway 190 and Rosina Road. That's between Lawtel and Eunice. A Lafayette man accused of trying to murder a man he targeted through a gay dating app has pleaded guilty to kidnapping in federal court. According to his plea agreement, Chance Seneca admitted he used the app to kidnap and try to murder a gay man. The man in that case is Holden White. Now, we typically don't name victims, but in this case, White shared his story with KATC. Seneca also acknowledged he took White to a house with the intent to murder him. He also said he planned to continue murdering until he was caught or killed. The minimum sentence for kidnapping is life in prison, and Seneca faces, faces additional time if found he intentionally chose White based off his sexual orientation. As for the attempted murder charge, Seneca is facing his trial date is set for January. Line workers from across the country, including here in Acadiana, are now in Florida already working to restore power. These photos came from LUS, which dispatched crews to Florida earlier this week. And let's get the latest on the forecast and Hurricane Ian with Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Hey, Rob. Hey, Jim. Yeah, one more day of talking about Ian perhaps as a hurricane, then making a second uh, or third landfall as we get into the Carolinas. Meanwhile, our weather just fine with that dry northerly flow. Uh, but Ian weakened down to a tropical storm earlier today, but back up to a hurricane. Category 1 hurricane, 75 mile per hour wind should make landfall somewhere on the South Carolina coastline. Uh, somewhere between Charleston and perhaps Myrtle Beach as a category one storm, not the same storm that hit Florida, but nonetheless it will be problematic with heavy rainfall uh, storm tides up to seven feet across South Carolina. So uh, rough weather still for some ahead 50 the overnight low tonight as cool as it's been since April 19th, at least uh, going by Lafayette numbers we will go 50 the low tonight, 82 the high with wall to wall sunshine once again tomorrow and it's cruise control through the weekend. And temperatures warming up during the afternoons, but still cool at night with readings generally in the 50s, getting back into the lower 60s and moderating temperatures upper 80s as we head into next week. No mention of rain in the forecast through the next week to 10 days. That's it for news and weather. Stay with KETC, KETC.com and social media for the very latest.